Yeah, for real. Like, obviously, when I saw... Do you know, it wasn't even, obviously, when I saw that video about um, uh, um, the, the Floyd guy, what was his name, George Floyd? That one was bad, obviously, obviously. But then there was another video um, where there was a guy from the military, light-skinned guy. He was in the army or whatever, innit? Yeah? And they basically, they, yeah, they held him in a position and he died in hospital or whatever, innit? Yeah? That video, yeah, that video got me mad, but... Oh, I'm just mad at those police officers. I'm not mad at the whole police force. Yeah, you need to stop judging people as a whole yeah, and looking at the individuals. Yeah, it's only a portion of the police officers. It happens too frequently, but it's only a portion of the police officers. It's not every single police officer is a maniac like that. And I think a lot of it, right? A lot of the interactions with the police could be a lot easier, a lot lighter if when people interact with the police, they conduct themselves properly. That's partly the problem. You got man, right? Sparking off this Black Lives Matter, Tin Guy, man, whatever in it, yeah? We only see part of the video, yeah? But if we saw the beginning part of the video, which didn't get released until later, you would have saw my man wasn't compliant. Maybe if he did comply, maybe he would still be alive today. Now, it's not an excuse. Just because a man don't comply, it's not an excuse to write a man off, obviously. But if a man did comply, then I'm sure... If I, if I was in that situation, I would have come out all right. I would have come out all right. Yeah, the police would even need to be dropping me to the floor. Yeah. The man was high on drugs. Yeah, Talking about he is... Um, not not anxious. Oh, I got claustrophobia. How can you have claustrophobia in a car and you are a car driver? That doesn't even make no sense. So, you know, they only show, obviously, they only show what they want to show, isn't it? It's not an excuse to take a man's life, though. But the outcome of the situation could have been a lot better. No nah, man, you need to. Know. That's what I'm saying about these people. They don't. They don't know how to play the game. I mean, like there is even no game. Yeah, just like, why don't you carry that same energy towards your boss? That's my argument. Yeah, there's people out here. They run up their mouth to the police, talk cash money, talk like they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that. Yeah, but their boss will do some something disrespectful, like cough near them, or come here, or just talk some. Talk to them, what? Like, some madness, tell them to shut up. And they won't fire back, they won't say nothing, because they're a coward. They're a coward. They're a coward. I'm telling you right now, I mentioned this in one of my videos, I don't even know if I've released it yet, but I'm telling you right now, yeah, if the police in the UK were like the police in Jamaica, a lot of us would have a lot more respect for the police. The police in Jamaica don't fuck around. Yeah? People don't run up their mouth to the police so often. Do you know why? Because the police are known for shooting people dead on the spot. The police don't fuck about in Jamaica. When I was out in Jamaica when I was 19, so eight years ago, yeah, because I would have technically been in Jamaica at this time uh, eight years ago. Um, I was out there with my ex-girlfriend or whatever, innit? Yeah? Imagine. An eight-month pregnant woman got shot in her head by the police. Madness. My driver, so I had a cab driver out there. Obviously, my my, my grandma lived out there, innit? So she knew she knew um, a cab driver. So we used to use him for our private um, cab service, whatever, innit? Yeah, he told us. He said, "Yeah, a, a pregnant woman, eight-month pregnant woman, got shot in her head by the police." I think it was so. What could what threat? Could an eight-month pregnant woman pose to the police why they decided to shoot her in the head? But shit like that, I'm not saying, you know, make, um, you know, make, make an example of people. But what I'm saying is shit like that, right? That puts people, that, that'll make you think twice, yeah, about running up your mouth to the police. Yeah, I don't run up my mouth to the old police 
period, yeah, in the, in the UK anyway. Yeah, I'm not a fucking coward. But I don't run up my mouth to the police, period. But I certainly am not running up my mouth to the police in, the, in, in Jamaica, yeah? I ain't even taking the chance that they want to do some madness, yeah? Now, if I went out to Jamaica, I wouldn't even be getting shot in the head or nothing like that, yeah? But the police don't ramp in Jamaica, yeah? They don't play around, yeah? And... Yeah, they walk down the street and they need to know that they're respected. That's probably why they're going so crazy. That's probably why the police officers go on so mad in America. They're probably trying to put the fear into people. I'm not saying the way that they conduct themselves is correct, but they're probably moving mad. They want to strike the fear into people because they know a lot of people in America don't have no respect for the police. The police need to have the utmost respect. They have to. How can the police not have respect? What the fuck are you pulling me over for? Like, people can't be talking to the police like that. They're supposed to be in authority. Now, me, um, I like the idea of authority, whatever in it, but I still know how to play the game. Yeah. The police need to have the utmost respect. It's just like a teacher, a teacher or a parent. Whoever is the um, subordinates, right, the children or the pupils, whoever, they need to have the utmost respect for the parents or the teacher. So anyone who step out of line, they'll get punished severely. Now, obviously, some of the police do take it too far, as we know already. But that's why they're moving so aggressive, because they need to strike the fear into people.